Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, good night. Depending on where you are in this world, God bless you. This is Gloria White coming to you from Utah, USA. Today we're continuing in the book of Jasher and the complete apocrypha, and we are in chapter 62. In that year, being the 79th year of the Israelites going down to Egypt, died Reuben, the son of Jacob, in the land of Egypt. Reuben was 125 years old when he died, and they put him into a coffin, and he was given into the hands of his children. And in the 80th year died his brother Dan. He was 120 years old at his death, and he was also put into a coffin and given to the hands of his children. And in that year Cushem, king of Edom, and after him reigned Hadad, the son of Bedad for thirty-five years, and in the eighty-first year died Ishakar, the son of Jacob, in Egypt, and Ishakar was an hundred and twenty-two years old at his death, and he was put into a coffin in Egypt, and given into the hands of his children, and in the eighty-second year died Asher, his brother, and he was a hundred and twenty-three years old at his death. And he was placed in a coffin in Egypt and given into the hands of his children. And in the 83rd year died Gad. He was 125 years old at his death. And he was put into a coffin in Egypt and given into the hands of his children. And it came to pass in the 84th year that the 50th year of the reign of Hadad, son of Bedad, king of Edom, that Hadad assembled all the children of Esau, and he got his whole army in readiness, about 400,000 men. And he directed his way to Moab, and he went to fight with Moab and to make them tributary to him. And the children of Moab heard this thing, and they were very much afraid. And they sent to the children of Midian to assist him in fighting with Hadad, son of Bedad, king of Edom. And Hadad came unto the land of Moab, and Moab the children of Midian went Moab and the children of Midian went out to meet him, and they placed themselves in battle array, array against him in the field of Moab. And Hadab fought with Moab, and there fell the children of Moab, and the children of Midian many slain ones, about two hundred thousand men. And the battle was very severe upon Moab. And when his children of Moab saw that the battle was sore upon them, they weakened their hands and turned their backs and left the children of Midian to carry on the battle. And the children of Midian knew not the intentions of Moab, but they strengthened themselves in battle and fought with Hadad and all his host. And all Midian fell before him. And Hadad smote all Midian with a heavy smiting, and he slew them with the edge of the sword. He left none remaining of those who came to assist Moab. And when all the children of Midian had perished in battle, and the children at Moab had escaped, Hadad made all Moab at that time tributary to him, and they became under his hand, and they gave a yearly tax as it was ordered. And Hadad turned and went back to his land. And at the revolution of the year, when the rest of the people of Midian that were in the land heard that all their brethren had fallen in battle with Hadad for the sake of Moab, because the children of Moab had turned their backs in battle and left Midian to fight, then five of the princes of Midian resolved with the rest of their brethren who remained in their land to fight with Moab to avenge the cause of their brethren. And the children of Midian sent to all their children, all their brethren, the children of the east, and all their brethren, all the children of Ketruah, came to assist Midian to fight with Moab. And the children of Moab heard this thing, and they were greatly afraid that all the children of the east had assembled together against them for battle. And they, the children of Moab, sent a memorial to the land of Edom, to Hadad, the son of Bedad, saying, Come now unto us and assist us, and we will smite Midian, 
for they all assembled together and had come against us with all their brethren, the children of the east, to battle, to avenge the cause of the Midian that fell in battle. And Hadad, son, son of Bedad, king of Edom, went out with his whole army and went to the land of Moab to fight with Midian. And Midian and the children of the east fought with Moab in the field of Moab, and the battle was very fierce between them. And Hadad smote all the children of Midian and the children of the east with the edge of the sword. And Hadad at that time delivered Moab from the hand of Midian. And those that remained of Midian and of the children of the east fled before Hadad and his army. And Hadad pursued them to their land and smote them with a very heavy slaughter. And the slain fell in the road. And Hadad delivered Moab out of the hand of Midian. For all the children of Midian had fallen by the edge of the sword. And Hadad turned and went back to his land. And from that day out, the children of Midian hated the children of Moab, because they had fallen in battle for their sake. And there was a great and mighty enmity between them all the days. And all that were found of Midian in the road of the land of Moab perished by the sword of Moab. And all that were found of Moab in the road of the land of Midian perished by the sword of Midian. Thus did Midian unto Moab, and Moab unto Midian for many days. And it came to pass at that time that, that Judah the son of Jacob died in Egypt, in the eighty-sixth year of Jacob's going down to Egypt. And Judah was an hundred and twenty-nine years old at his death. And they embalmed him and put him into a coffin. And he was given into the hands of his children. And in the eighty-ninth year died Naphtali. He was a hundred and thirty-two years old, and he was put into a coffin and given into the hands of his children. And it came to pass in the ninety-first year of the Israelites going down to Egypt, that is in the thirteenth year of the reign of Zepho, the son of Eliphaz, the son of Esau, over the children of Chittim, the children of Africa, Africa came upon the children of Chittim to plunder them as usual. But they had not come unto them for these thirteen years. And they came to them in that year, and Zepho the son of Eliphaz went out to them with some of his men and smote them desperately. And the troops of Africa fled from before Zepho, and the slain fell before him. And Zepho and his men pursued them, going on and smiting them, until they were near unto Africa. And Agias king of Africa heard, the thing which Zepho had done, and it vexed him exceedingly, and Agias was afraid of Zepho all the days. A lot of the sons of Jacob died, and this Zepho, he's trouble. And as always, I love you.